hey everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel thank you guys so much for being here guys we have another pick a card reading now this is going to be specifically centered around love but if it resonates it resonates um this is going to be a pick a card reading based on what do they want to say to you what do they want to say so we have five piles like always pile one on the far left says stop holding yourself to impossible standards Pile two, take the next step, even if it's scary. Pile three says, when everyone closes the door on you, you are the only one that can find a way out. Pile four says, you only fail when you don't dare to try. And last but not least, pile five states, you are not what other people say about you. You guys can choose more than one pile. Let's go ahead and get started on one. Hello my pile ones, welcome to your reading cell group one. Let's find out what they want to say to you. So we have stop holding yourself to impossible standards. So there's some kind of uh, situation to where your person may feel like you are trying too hard. Maybe trying too hard to impress other people or trying too hard to meet yourself at a standard that you think you will finally feel accepted as um, by other people, but I'm mostly getting you, you as a person. I feel like this person thinks that you are trying to um, reach a standard or reach a way of being, a way of living that is quite detrimental, okay? For a lot of you guys, you do struggle with weight issues. Um, does not matter what size you are, if you are thick, if you are very thin and slim, um, this person wants you to know that you are beautiful and they do see you kind of detrimenting yourself in some way or you could quite possibly bring it up quite often uh, with this person here. So let's choose another one of these cards. What do they want to say to my group one? So we have let things unfold naturally. This person's wanting you to go with the flow. They're wanting you to be patient. They're wanting you to be chill. And they're kind of just wanting you to not rush things or not ask too many questions, but kind of just groove with them, kind of just flow. Like if things work out, they do. If they do not, then that's okay. I just feel like this per this person's energy feels very grounding. It feels very much, uh, I wanna say real. Almost like this person this person may uplift you at times. They may be supportive of your, of your ideas or even when you're not feeling your best, they're just always there to reassure you here. This person's trying to let you know to uh, be easy, okay? Not only when it comes to yourself, but when it comes to this connection with them, be easy. Things don't need to be perfect. Things don't need to be rushed. This person likes natural. You know, they could like natural beauty. They could just be very earthy or just, yeah, pretty much. Let's pull some of these oracles. person what do they want to say what do they want to say in my group what the alchemist hmm so the alchemist is a card all about 
turning one situation into another, turning a bad situation into a good one. So this person wants you to be appreciative of where you guys are at right now to notice what you guys have together and to kind of just work with that, okay? This person wants you to heal your energy and ground your energy and kind of just be in this alchemist state. I get temperance vibes, I get Sagittarius vibes. Very interesting. Let's pull one more from this deck. Let's see, is this focused nicely? have ascension what a good card to get so i this is one of my favorite cards in the deck it talks about um leveling up spiritually but also leveling up on the material plane so this person hmm, i'm getting here they're wanting you to see this connection from a higher ground from a third party point of view they could see you as someone who's worrying too much about it, someone who's too fixated on it, and they're really wanting you to get a new view on it, quite possibly take a step back and just notice what you have and work on it here. This person could also be wanting you to work on yourself, to not worry if you guys aren't together anymore, but to um, turn a upside down situation upright, okay? They're wanting you to level up, but I'm getting more like in a mentality kind of way. Wow. And then we have higher perspective. This card is all about getting a third eye point of view. So I think this ties in well with what I was saying. Let's pull this deck. These are my tarot cards. What do they want to say? So we have the seeker of the wants. So they're really wanting you to talk your ish. They're wanting you to speak your truth. The seeker of wands, also known as the page of wands, is someone who is very expressive, someone who likes to be creative, someone who doesn't care about um, what people think of them. They don't really care about the consequences. This is just a very free spirited energy. So they're wanting you to let loose. They're wanting you to find your mojo again and kind of get back to this childlike funny energy. This person, what they want to say to you, they're also just wanting to like be daring and they're kind of wanting to like um, what's the word trying, like they want to crack jokes with you they want to be silly with you they want to be a bit daring with you we have the hangman for some of you this person wants to say that they're a bit hung up on you like you see the way she, this hand is dangling this rose the hangman is also a card of feeling stuck. And then we have this free spirited card. So this person, what they want to tell you, they want to tell you that they, they kind of miss you in a way. Like they feel, they, 
they feel um, a bit stuck. I'm not too sure what's going on between you guys. I'm just getting here that there could be a bit of a halt due to um, someone wanting to push things or maybe things got a bit out of hand. But this person's wanting to tell you that they're um, a bit stuck in the middle. They want to go back to the lightheartedness of this connection and how things used to be. Okay, so let's pull some oracle cards. Sorry guys, one moment. you be happy be silly they miss that energy with you my group one so we have to be fair they want to tell you that um, they want to be fair with you they don't want to push you to be anything or say anything or do anything that is out of your comfort zone. They want things to be fair. And we have soulmates in the reverse. So they could also be wanting to tell you that this connection does hold a bit of a strain on them and they could see that it does the same for you. Um, and then we have breathe. Yeah, they're wanting you to calm down and listen to your intuition when it comes to this connection. I'm almost getting an energy like whatever happens to us, like I'm always going to be there for you. I'm always going to be fair to you. Really is what I'm picking up. Let's choose these. We have the moon card. Ooh. So they also want to tell you about some secrets. Maybe some secrets that they have. Maybe some secrets you have or just in the connection. They definitely want to bring things to light and they want to make things right. We have the four of cups. So they could quite possibly want to tell you that they're not really um, rushing into anything right now. I feel like they're not really wanting to take up any offers at this time with the Four of Cups. This is, this is a card of rejection. We have a lot of Cancer energy here with the Moon and the Four of Cups. So they could also be a bit confused. But I'm getting more like there's fears going on as well in regards to this connection. Yeah, and then we have the lovers. So I'm most definitely getting there could be other people when it comes to this connection with the lovers card. But they also want to tell you that they do love you. They do care for you. They could quite possibly want to tell you that they're either getting married or they're either moving out. So my group ones, that is all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'm going to move on to group two.
Thank you, Paul. Hello, my group twos. Welcome to your reading. So, group two, let's find out what do they want to say to you. So, you guys chose the card that states, take the next step even if it's scary. So there's something in regards to where this person wants to encourage you to do something. It's a risk. It's something that is a bit troubling or a bit scary. Um, this could go either way. So let's go ahead and pull another card. But there's something in regards to taking the next step. Let's, let's just see how this ties in, right? My group twos. What is the next step? What do they want to tell you? Oh, okay. So we have stop expecting from others. So for some of you, this person is wanting you to walk away. They're wanting you to kind of just go your own way and separate. Um, stop expecting from others. So this person could feel like you are quite possibly wanting from this person than what they can give to you right now. Um, so they're really wanting you to kind of just come out of your comfort zone and stop being so fixated on what you want from this person and to um, try something new, try something different to get different results, right? Put yourself first. Yeah, exactly. They're wanting you to put yourself first. Alright, so let's see, let's see, my group twos. What are they expecting from my group twos? Or what are they expecting? What do they want to say? Self-love. So yeah, they're really wanting you to water yourself at this time. They know that you are draining yourself. They know that you feel a bit uncomfortable with what's going on. Therefore, they're wanting you to make your feel a lot better about yourself and then we have the alchemist so I'm not going to choose this card because group one had it So we have love, wow. So I feel like this person cares about you, my group ones, from what it seems. I mean, we have two cards that speak about love. This person sees that you need to give it to yourself as well. And then we have feet. So you see the, the way this egg looks so fancy, like it's on a fancy pillow, it has like nice drapings on it a nice cover um so they're wanting you to treat yourself like a special egg and i mean i love that we have the peacock as the self-love card because the peacock is known to have really vibrant beautiful colors and peacock stands for um not being afraid of showing your true self not holding anything back so they're really wanting you to embody this because they could see that you the things that you're doing right now with them are it's kind of like restricting you and restricting the energy of love to flow there feels like there's more fear that comes through so they're really wanting you to kind of let go uh let lessen the grip and just be open and flowy
Let's pull some tarot. Are these upside down? No. What do they want to say to my group twos? We have the eight of wands being in the reverse. And then we have the page of wands. I'm not going to choose the page of wands. We had that in group one. Pull one more card. The anchor. So the anchor is the emperor in this card. So what I'm getting from both of these pairings, this person's wanting you to um, not be so uh, flighty when it comes to this connection, okay? The eight of wands to me is making me think of someone who moves very fastly, moves very quickly. With the anchor, they're wanting you to, to kind of be an anchor to like chill out basically and just be grounded because with the emperor he's grounded because the emperor knows that not only does he have himself to take care of but he has his family his community to take care of okay i'm not saying you have to take care of people but they're just wanting you to start with yourself first in order to let this love come in or just see where this connection can go Let's pull some of these cards. For some of you, this person's wanting you to unblo unblock them. But there's an overall energy of them just wanting to work on you. We have new life. So they're wanting you to um, choose newness. Start new, start fresh. time for a nap in the reverse so time for a nap in the reverse talks about anxiety it talks about being so stressed on something that we're losing sleep from it don't think too much don't expect too much just roll with it um, Yeah, not for you. So they could quite possibly be wanting to tell you that maybe um, they're not feeling this connection with not for you. Yeah, and then we have thinker in the reverse. So thinker in the reverse speaks of um, facing the facts when it comes to love. It's like the facts are the facts. Things are as what they seem. Okay. So let's see. Let's go ahead and pull some more tarot. 
Is this crooked? I can't tell. So we have the nine of wands. They're wanting you to be strong. But with this nine of wands card, it shows a, a person on here that looks very relaxed. I could never quite decipher like what the picture, how the picture of this card resonates with the original nine of wands that I do um, usually see with tarot. Let me know down below in the comments what you guys get from this Nine of Wands picture. She looks very much alone. She looks like she's enjoying her own company. We have the Six of Cups being in the reverse. This person's wanting you to heal the past. Maybe some childhood drama stuff, or maybe some stuff with some family. They could quite possibly be wanting you to draw a line with some negative things from your past. The hangman, they're wanting you to let go. And then we have the Ten of Pentacles. So yeah, I'm getting that this person, what they want to tell you, they want to tell you that they're kind of not feeling this connection and they're just really wanting you to take care, okay? They see that you need some healing. They do see that you have been a bit affected when it comes to this connection. <laughs> I feel like this person does care about you, um, but they're just wanting things to end as well. So group two, that is all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I'm going to move on to group three. Thanks, group two. Hey, group three, welcome to your reading. So guys, let's hop right in it. You guys chose the card that states when everyone closes the door on you, you are the only one that can find a way out. So this person wants to tell you that you are able to find a way out. You are able to get yourself out of whatever situation is going on between you guys here, okay? This person could see you as someone who could be a bit stuck on what's happening between you guys. Um, the number 27 could be significant. Or a certain house could be significant here. But let's go ahead and pull some more cards just to see how this ties in. Maybe you guys are 27 or you were born on the 27th. Maybe you were born on the 9th. Only do what feels good. Ooh. This feels kind of encouraging, but this also feels like someone who is trying to give you some tough love. Only do what feels good. And then we have stop being the old version of you. So this person's really wanting you to find a way out. They're wanting you to, they just want to tell you like, like, you are so badass. Like, you don't even see yourself the way other people see you. Like, it's, it feels like good things, but I'm also getting there's a situation here that could quite possibly be not really what's working out between you guys. And for others of you, this person does care about you. They're just really wanting you to um, level up in a way that's getting you away from 
whatever situation's not working for you. They're wanting you to rebel a little bit. Just remember that you are this badass. Sorry if my voice is very low. It's pretty late, I'm recording. What do they want to tell you? What do they want to tell you? So we have paradox. So I actually want to read this card from the booklet. I kind of forget what it means. Let's see. This should be very fast. 103. One of the best ways to slowly enter a relationship with our internal paradox is to remind ourselves that we did not create these things within us. We inherited them. It does not define us, and yet we are responsible for it. To work more deeply with paradox as you witness yourself throughout the day, identify what types of thoughts you have. Is it more a positive or a negative? Um, the paradox is one of our most valuable spiritual possessions, and for anyone who does shadow work, they know this to be true. Um, this card is a reminder that we can hold two extremes at the same time. To see our most brilliant qualities and our most ugly, to acknowledge that they both live within us is a gateway to growth. So paradox is about our good side and our bad side, but coming together to learn from it and utilize both sides of ourselves to make something better out of it. So this person is really wanting you to take the bad times and make it into something good, almost alchemy, but paradox is more of embracing uh, the good and the bad. I hope that makes sense. The revolutionary, wow. They're wanting you to set fire to this shit. I don't know if you guys have some kind of issues with your family members or with coworkers that this person knows about. Something, this person's really encouraging you to be like, you are a badass bitch, you are it. Like, these people are getting to your head. Like, you need to remember who you are. This is the kind of energy that this person wants to express to you. So we have the three of cups. This person's wanting you to have fun now. They're wanting you to go out and enjoy life, enjoy new friends, enjoy new times and new successes and etc. with them here. They're wanting you to let loose. They're wanting you to get back into this fun energy. They could quite possibly be wanting to take you out like 
to eat, to the bar, somewhere fun. And then we have the Ten of Wands. This person could be wanting you to walk away from a way of being. Some of you could have struggled with like alcohol, drugs, or just maybe like a group of friends or an organization. Some kind of lifestyle for some of you or a phase of yourself that this person is really wanting you to kind of pick up the pieces and go. We have the two of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So they're really wanting you to outweigh your options and choose accordingly. Choose practically. They're also wanting to tell you that you shouldn't, you shouldn't pick up the burden for other people or you shouldn't feel so burdened by these situations. They're wanting you to kind of let go of some baggage that you might be carrying. Quite possibly some guilt. For some of you, this person could be wanting to tell you about other people, like a third party situation. We have TikTok. So this is a card of running out of time. This is a card about being too late for things. They're wanting you to let go of whatever it is that you are stuck on. It's like that was the past. Now it's time to focus on the future, the present, higher power. Yeah, they're wanting you to ask for help. They're wanting you to get back in the right mindset. There's a keyhole on her third eye. They're like wanting you to wake up. It's almost like somebody shaking you and being like, like, girl, do you remember like who you are? Snap out of it, snap out of it. That's the energy that I'm getting with this pile. Come to the edge. Like, let's go, let's go, let's go. Very interesting. All right, what do they want to tell my group threes? What do they want to tell them? We have the page of water in the reverse, the page of cups. So they're wanting you to get out of your emotions, to get out of your head. They're also want wanting you to deal with your emotions, like to really understand them and to deal with them in a healthy way. They could also be wanting to tell you that they know that you are suppressing your emotions or some of you guys could be uh, like, uh, why can't I think of the word? Like you're lashing out with your emotions. Mm, let's see. What do they want to tell my... Wheel of Fortune. They're wanting to tell you that it's time to change. Things are coming to an end, but they're also wanting to tell you that, yes, things are ending, but also new things also begin during the same time. Or it will come after things end.
And we have the Ace of Wands being in the reverse. So they're wanting to tell you that things cannot go back to the way that they were. We have the Fool card. So they're really wanting you to turn a new leaf. They're really wanting you to turn a new leaf and with the Fool card kind of just um, get back in this very exuberant, fun energy. I feel like they miss the old energy, the old you that's very lighthearted and funny and creative. Okay, I hope this made sense. So group three, that is all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I'm going to move on to group four. Thanks, group three. Hi, group four. Welcome to your reading. Thank you guys for being here. So group four, let's hop right in it and see what you guys got. So we have you only fail when you don't try. You don't dare to try. Hmm. I'm getting an encouraging energy from this card. This person's wanting to tell you it's okay. That things happened the way that they should have. Things are going the way that they should. Okay, so we have everything will be okay, yes. They're wanting to tell you that everything will be okay, to not worry. Everything is how it should be. Everything will turn out fine. I'm getting this person could quite possibly want to take you out for coffee. For some of you, that's not the case. I don't know if um, some things did not work out between you guys or there's just some kind of mishap in the connection. Excuse me. I've been chalk chalking. I've been talking so much. the void so they're gonna want to tell you that um, right now there's an empty space meaning that they're not really thinking about this situation they're kind of just more like I want to say a blank space because the void is a card about nothing it, it's a void there's nothing here um, I feel like this person is a bit confused or they don't know how to express themselves towards you. Um, hmm. What do they want to say to my group fours? The pillar. This person wants to tell you that you are a strong individual. Um, once again, the void is a card about nothing. It's a card about being in a period of our lives to where we don't know where we're going. We don't know how the situation's going to turn out. It speaks about being like a situation ending 
but not being fully into the newness of something. It's that weird in between. And with the pillar, they're just wanting you to remember that you are strong. The pillar is a card that speaks of someone who has been through it, but they're still standing strong. Like there's still some cracks in the foundation, but there's it's still standing strong. There's still flowers and um, things growing around it. And after many years, it has turned into something beautiful and something ancient and something worth looking at. So this person wants you to remember that you are um, very beautiful, you are very handsome, and to hang on there because they know that you'll be okay. They know you'll be fine. They know you're in this com uncomfortable situation, but they're just wanting you, wanting to reassure you that just because things went this way does not mean it's the end. Yeah, the revolutionary, they're wanting you to take your power back. Okay, let's pull some tarot. Oh, and that. Oh. So we have the devil. They're also wanting to let you know that this connection feels, they know it's toxic. They could also feel a bit toxic as well when it comes to this connection. You could be dealing with the Capricorn. Maybe you are a Capricorn. You do not have to be. They do not have to be. Yeah, and it's so funny. We actually have it right underneath the Void card. So this speaks of fear, anxiety, discomfort. Um, letting fear get the best of us. So this person wants you to let you know that it's all in your head. The reason you feel this void is just due to fear and attachment. We have judgment. They're wanting you to be reborn again. They're wanting you to um, really look at this situation and make a judgment call. Yeah, we have the Three of Swords heartbreak. So we have Capricorn and Sagittarius energy. I also got the song, um, I never had nobody show me all the things that you would show me in a special way I feel. That song came to my head. And also Jefferson's airplane feed your head. I don't know why. Um, Unfinished Symphony. Um, so this is a card of someone being very sad. Someone just like wallowing in this sadness as well. Some of you guys could be listening to music that you guys shared with one another, or they just know that you're being very expressive, that you are hurting from this connection, or maybe they want to express this to you. You know, the rules, the roles can be reversed. Oh, 
a leg up. So they're wanting to tell you too that um, they're wanting independence for them and for you. Um, and it's so funny because we have the devil card. So a leg up in the reverse is a card that speaks of the need to be independent, but also knowing when to ask for help. Okay, so they could quite possibly be wanting you to like go seek help, go seek treatment or to speak with friends and family about how you're feeling instead of them if you are trying to separate yourself from them. Let's pull some more tarot. I saw the Queen of Cups. And the Queen of Pentacles. We have death in the reverse. So they're really wanting you to move forward with this death process. They're wanting you to let go with death in the reverse. This is someone who is uh, like lingering on, who's prolonging something. Someone who's having a hard time with the change. So let's see, what are they wanting to tell you? We have the magician in the reverse. So yeah, they're most definitely wanting you to be back in your power. Because the magician to me is all about confidence. It's all about um, noticing your willpower and using it. This person knows that you're strong enough. Let's see, let's pull one more card for you guys. What does this person want to tell you guys? We have justice. So yeah, they're wanting you to know that, um, once again, I'm just getting, what's fair will be fair. What's done will be done. They're wanting you to reciprocate the same energy that they're giving you. They don't want anything unbalanced in this connection. Therefore, it just causes more friction. They're wanting things to be peaceful and balanced. That's what they want to tell you. So, group four. That is all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I'm going to move on to group five. Thanks, group four. Hey, group five, welcome to your reading. Last but not least, let's hop right into it and see how are they feeling about you? Or I'm sorry, what do they want to say? Group five, you guys chose the card that states, you are not what other people say about you. So this person, um, what they want to say is like, it feels really good. Like they just want to reassure you that you are the shit. You are the bomb. Don't let people tell you otherwise. This person sees really good qualities and things about you. Um, let's go ahead and pull some more cards. See how this ties in. So we have time to let go, say no more, heal. 
So they're really wanting you to heal at this time. They're wanting you to turn the attention towards you. And they could be wanting to tell you that um, they're wanting to walk away. They could be telling you that it's it's time for them to go. They, they need to heal some things about themselves as well. Let's go ahead and pull some oracles. Also another message that I'm getting is um, if this person has said or done some things to hurt you or kind of just make you feel some type of way about yourself, um, they want you to know that that's not true. I'm getting that this person is realizing there's some issues with themselves and that they're just needing to walk away now. So they're wanting to let you know if they made you feel some kind of way with their words or actions, they're wanting you to know that it's not it's not because of you, it's because of them. We have boundaries, yeah. So they're wanting to let you know that they need their space, they want their boundaries. They're, um, they're putting up their boundaries right now. It's like this person's going in hermit mode, they're going in their shell. Or they could quite possibly be wanting to talk about boundaries between you guys. And we have the seeker, so this person could quite possibly be wanting to go elsewhere with the seeker, wanting to um, either explore new opportunities or do some searching within themselves with the seeker. They call me the seeker. I've been searching low and high. <laughs> I love that song. And then we have higher perspective. This is a card all about getting a bird's eye view, a um, third perspective on a situation, looking from it from the outside in. This person's letting you know that they have to go. I feel like they're not proud of some things that they may have done. And for others of you, this person has had enough. They could quite possibly be wanting to put their boundaries up with you. Let's pull some tarot. My group five, what do they want to tell my group five? We have the two of cups. So this person wants to tell you that they do care about you. For some of you, they do love you. Um, they do feel a connection with you and they think that you guys get along. What do they want to tell my five? Ooh, we have the Conqueror of Cups. So this is the Knight of Cups in this deck. So they could be telling you that once again, they, they do feel love for you. I feel like this person wants to write songs for you. They want to um, like sing to you, quite possibly play music. There's an, it's like they have to walk away because they know they have to, but at the same time, it's like they, they like you. Once again, for some of you, they love you. Very interesting. 
very interesting. They know that they came off immature. They could quite possibly want to talk about why they left. Like kind of give an explanation why. Yeah, look at that. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. What do they want to tell you? My group fives, what do they want to tell my group fives? We have blessed in the river. They're embarrassed. They're embarrassed with whatever they did. They know that they did something wrong or that they came off wrong. We have observer. I'm not going to take that. I'm not feeling it. I rarely do that with cards. We have happy, happy. So they want to let you know that they do feel happy with you, almost kind of silly. They like your energy, they like when you guys come together, but I feel like there's something that happened. The face, yeah. Something happened. So this card speaks about situations that happen that are faded. Sometimes when we question like, why us? Or why did things turn out this way? Um, sometimes things just do. And that's what the Fates card is all about. So they want to explain the situation. They want to explain themselves. have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you they know they'll feel safe if they do so we have temperance yeah, here we go. Here's that two of cups, nine of cups energy. This is the temperance card, but you see the way, like the vibe just feels so right. It just feels so good. They want to vibe with you. They want to regain balance in this connection. But almost like they want to come back like nothing happened as well. We have the Ace of Wands. So they may want to explain themselves about something that was supposed to get off the ground between you guys. With the Ace of Wands being in the reverse. This person could be wanting to like take you out to eat, maybe grab a nice glass of wine, a nice bottle of wine, some dessert. They want to get in the mood with you. That's exactly what I'm getting from that temperance card. They want to get in the mood with you. We have three of swords reverse. They want to make amends. They want to make it up to you with this three of swords in the reverse. 
And then we have the Six of Wands. So they want to tell you too that they do, they do um, see you in high regards. This person does want to make it up to you. I just don't know if they're going to come forward, but this person does uh, put you on a pedestal as well. They know that they fucked up with their actions though. So group five, that is all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. <clears throat> and that's it. I will see you in my next video. Bye, goodbye.